Eucharistic Miracles of Florence. In the Church of St. Ambrose in Florence, the relics of two Eucharistic miracles, one which occurred in the year 1230 and the other in the year 1595, are preserved. In the miracle of 1230, a priest named Father Hugo Choni, as he finished Mass by mistake, left some drops of consecrated wine in the chalice. The following day, when he returned to celebrate Mass in the same church, he found in the chalice some drops of living blood, which had coagulated and turned into flesh color. The blood was immediately placed into a cruet made of crystal. Among the most authoritative testimonies which recount this miracle is that of the historian Giovanni Villani. In 1399, Pope Banifas IX granted to the faithful who visited the church of St. Ambrose and contributed to the adornment of the reliquary of the miracle, the same indulgence granted for those visiting the Porzunocola in Assisi. In 1980, the 750th anniversary of the miracle was commemorated. The second Eucharistic miracle took place on Good Friday of the year 1595. By accident, a candle was left lit on the altar of the side chapel named the Chapel of Holy Sepulchre, causing a raging fire. The people ran at once to put out the fire and managed to salvage the Blessed Sacrament and the chalice. In the general confusion, six consecrated hosts fell from the ciborium onto the flaming carpet, and yet, despite the fire, the hosts were recovered intact and still next to each other. In 1628, the Archbishop of Florence, Marzio Mediaia, after examining them, found them to be incorrupt, and so had them placed in a precious reliquary. Each year, during the 40 hours, devotion which take place, the relics of the two miracles are exposed together in the reliquary, also containing a consecrated host for public adoration.